Hello everybody, welcome back to another basement episode. Today is basement episode 12, if you have been keeping up with this series. All of the episodes are saved as a highlight on our YouTube page, if you guys wanna go back and watch them. We have been documenting for the past like six months the renovation of our formerly very 1970s basement and we are nearing the end of that process. Today is a very exciting, oh, you might be able to hear it because Andrew is outside spray painting all of our trim and our doors. I just finished painting the window to the right of me um, and we're going to start getting ready to furnish this room. If you have been keeping up with this series, you might remember this desk was left by the last owner in this house. It is very big and very heavy. It's the last original thing in this basement we have to get rid of. So we're going to make a point to get rid of that today. Probably just move it into the garage, but it's going to be a struggle to get it out of here. And then just, I guess, wrapping up on this project. I want to thank you guys so much for following along with this. And uh, we'll get right into today's episode. We just came from the store, picked up this spray paint. Show them. Wait, gilded brass. That's the color. We use that same color in the treehouse. I think that that'll do better than this like yellowy gold. Looks good. Full coverage, eh? Yeah. That's the before and the after. We got Andrew over here taping off the floor. We're getting ready to paint, and I am gonna start on this window. Here we go. all on here and it's just finishing filling all of the holes but look at this all you people who said get a laundry room you'll love having a laundry room it's so nice to be able to fold your laundry this is like everything we own piled in here right now one other thing we got done was painting these additional little trim pieces because i think it just finishes with the fireplace off better we'll install that now Do this. Oh, what? This wraps around the green thing, these two wrap together. Yeah. You want to do this one? No. I just think I could. size for this space because it's not that tall and it's kind of skinny um so i don't love this mirror but i don't really care that much so oh yeah that does look pretty though that's nice the next day so for this window i was thinking about getting blinds for it but it's kind of a weird shape and blinds are so expensive so i was like what about um just doing like a film over the window that would frost it because i don't really care about having a view but right now it's so bright in the basement that like anyone driving by can see right into the house so i'm paranoid so we're gonna try frosting the window instead. This is like 35 bucks compared to like 200 for blinds. Okay, I'm gonna give the windows a little clean. Thanks, babe. Wet window with solution, remove film liner.
is our faucet. It's from Home Depot. It's matte gold. It matches pretty well with the rest of the fixtures in here. So I'm gonna install that now. All right, trim has all been painted. Andrew did the little knobbies, as you guys saw, I think. Um, and then all out here, we touched up all the trim. Everything's looking really good. Now we just have to get this desk out of here. guys it's hours later but i want to give an update on the film in the window look how beautiful that looks i don't miss it all that you can't see out into the street i love the privacy and from the front it just looks like we have white blinds special delivery we got our couch i'm so excited but now we have to haul all these boxes Material you want this to be, so we went with the walnut wood, and then all of these open, so it's got a 
um, storage on the inside and it has charging ports for your devices and then it has a table that swings out so if you like eat on the couch or somewhere for your laptop to go and then this couch also lights up but that was part of it too they they didn't send over the lights for it so you guys will have to check it out on instagram if you want to see the full thing plus it's like super super comfy and it's like water resistant and like cut proof like you could take a knife knife to it and it's not going to cut through i don't know this is like a super couch yes. anyways we just got back from shopping i'm going to give you guys a little haul we went to home sense and value village i'll start with value village first this was $7.99 it's just a cute little vase uh it needs to be polished up but i was like i see potential here i could use it for something so we got that i got this cute little wooden basket i don't know what i'll do with it but i'll figure it out i got a bunch of books shout out to my best friend taylor who gave me this thrifting piece of advice is to get the books that you can take the paper off of and then the covers just make cute decor i got a couple different ones and i just plan to take the Bless you. The covers off of all of them so I can use them to stack. From Home Sense, I started collecting pillows. I really want to do a lot of colors and textures down here, which is different from the upstairs because upstairs it's a little more neutral because we started decorating in 2020 and we bought the house, started sharing it online, and then uh, grew a following really, really fast. So I felt like this pressure to decorate and uh go with like trends and things like that and i feel like three years later i've just kind of moved away from some of the decorating that's upstairs so i'm just kind of picking out everything that i like and then we'll figure out how to make it work so i love the textures of these pillows this, these ones i love this like burnt orange color and these pillows are so soft and then andrew really liked this pillow so we got that one too we found a gold toilet paper rack i didn't want to put a uh, toilet paper rack on the brand new vanity so we picked up a gold one this was $19.99 this cute vase with some fake leaves soap for this downstairs bathroom Andrew picked out a candle I didn't realize it was bachelor pad is the scent he picked but it just smells like cologne I got this blanket I justified it I know I have a lot of blankets but I was like I need a basement blanket, so we got a basement blanket. These are so cute. These are like tapered candles, but they're like spirally and pink. I got two picture frames. One of them was on clearance for $5. This one was $9.99. A garbage can for the bathroom, so I got that. I just got blue because I thought it matched the tile nice. And I think that's everything. We also just picked up our last box of flooring so Andrew can finish this little section of flooring here and then add the baseboard and then the trimmer on this side of the door. And then all we need is the glass for the shower, which has been ordered and this bathroom will be done. Also, the cedar chest has made its way into the basement. If you guys have been watching, this is the one we got like a month ago from Habitat for Humanity. So I thought it would be so cute to store extra blankets. And even if it's not, I just, I think it looks so pretty in this space. Okay, so I'm in the office now doing a little DIY. One of you inspired this. I can't remember who it was, but I responded back to you. So whoever it is, you know who you are. Gave me the idea to make a little sign for in the bathroom to hang up saying, close the lid before you flush. And I went on Etsy. I saw that you can make the little vinyl stickers for it. And I have a Cricut cutter. So I'm like, oh, I can just make that myself. I'm going to do that now. <laughs> Andrew's building a door here because we're closing this in for storage. One of you always asks if we're going to make it into a dog house for like something fun, but our dogs would never use it. They literally would never use it. So it's just going to be storage. Oh, can you finish tiling? Yeah, we got the little extra tile. And grouting in the um, bathroom and the doors are, both doors are on now. We got the attachment pieces we needed for the couch. So the backing is on. Uh, it looks a little frumpy right now but it's just because the dogs are obsessed with it and they've got dog prints all over it but that was inevitable at our house a few more touch-ups are happening now oh let me tell you about this area so you guys are gonna see this room done first although we're still waiting on the rug no idea where the rug is um but you'll see this 
area kind of furnished first. This area is gonna come second because we have a surprise for right here and all the decor and everything is still in the works. It's all been ordered, but it's coming. And then this whole wall is gonna be done later because components we need for it are also coming later. So it's gonna be a floor to ceiling cabinet right here where the ductwork is. And then it'll be cabinets that come across. This is all gonna be tiled with maybe a shelf. And it's gonna be like a little entertainment area because this side of the room is like more fun and great for entertaining and things like that. While this side's a little more sophisticated and clean and just decorated a little bit nicer. I don't know how to describe it. This one. Cute. Does that look nice? I think so. Because it's got like the purples and everything. It's either this one or... Yeah, I think I like the black one better. For sure. And I want to hang our pet portraits. Right there. That's so. perfect. Eye level, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. One, two, three. Should yeah. we do it? Maybe. It was sticker at $50 and then the little bugger saw and re-stickered it at $149, but we were at Home Sense today and this mirror was $129, so. <laughs> I think we're gonna hang this mirror right here at the bottom of the stairs, but the other option was over here, but I don't know how it would look with the light, like over in this corner, like right there, but it might be too big. We also have the guys coming tonight to install the glass here. So we're gonna have a door. I had a lot of questions on TikTok about how to use the shower if the shower has no door, but we just didn't have the door yet. Now, back to this scenario, which I've talked about way too many times. So we're still waiting on things for the couch to finish the couch. We're still waiting on the rug, but we're thinking about our coffee table from upstairs for down here. I like the idea of having a circle, so we'll bring it down and kind of see how that goes because the plan eventually is to redo the upstairs again which probably sounds crazy but I just we want to redecorate so we're gonna do it um so I think that that would be it might be better suited down here this is gonna stay down here Now back to this door. We're gonna keep the door. Why? Yeah, it works and it seals. Like and it, yeah, it fits properly. We're gonna keep the door, we're gonna refinish the door, but I need help deciding what color do we paint the door. Cause I thought like a blue would be nice. We have a blue that we did upstairs. I'll insert a little video for you guys so you can see it. It looked nice, that blue. I don't know if it would be too much down here or we could do like a light blue like we did in our office. I like that shade of blue because it's like almost white, but it's like still blue. Yeah, and it's like more of a shiny finish, which what is good yeah. for like wiping. Yeah, yeah. What else? We have other colors, like other paint colors. There's so many colors. Comment below, let me know what color you think this door should be. Because it could be white, like we could make it just kind of blend in with the wall here, or we could do something different. I really wanted to make it look like a bookshelf and make it like a secret door. Wouldn't that be fun? We could, we'd have to make it hinge the other way. Should we? We'd have to swing the other way. And make it like a, I, I wanted it to look like a hidden door, like a really shallow bookshelf. And then it's like a secret door into the garage. That could be a project. That'd be fun. I don't feel like it's overly hard. Should we? <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay, everybody, it's hours later. The guys were just here, they finished installing the glass in the shower. I'm in my pajamas, it's been a very long day, but I want to take a little trip with you guys down memory lane and remind you of what this original bathroom used to look like.
everybody, welcome to our new bathroom. Obviously the decorating is not totally done, but I'm really just not in a rush to decorate it because we have other projects we need to wrap up, including the laundry room and the entertainment wall back here. But this is just looking so great. The shower just needs to set. So we're still not able to use it for another day, but it came out so beautiful with the shower door and we're just very excited about it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you've enjoyed. We're excited to move along in the rest of this renovation. So we will see you guys next Sunday for another new video. Bye. Bye.